It marks the end of U.S. involvement in a war that lasted for more than a decade, the fall of Saigon. Forty years ago, the U.S. pulled out of the area and South Vietnam eventually fell under control of the North. A parade was held to commemorate the anniversary in former Saigon, now called Ho Chi Minh City. Here in the U.S., for many years, the memories of that war were often too painful for veterans to talk about. Now, only on News 3, reporter Dave Delosier has the story of the widow of a Vietnam veteran and how she learned his story years after his death, not through words, but through drawings he left behind. Oh, wonderful memories. There are the stories, the ones an old photograph serve as a reminder of. He was a very kind person, wonderful listener. Married nearly 30 years ago, Vernon and Betsy Grant shared a life. When I said best friend, there's no doubt about it. We communicated about lots of things. A husband who shared everything about his life except for one chapter of it. He didn't tell me very much at all about Vietnam. A communications officer when it came to communicating about that time, like a lot of veterans, he could not. I just had the feeling that he didn't really want to talk about the combat part of it. But when Vernon passed away nine years ago, his experiences in Vietnam seemingly passed with him until Betsy found it. And said, oh my gosh, I'd never seen this before. Page after page was Vernon's story, not in words, but in cartoon drawings he'd made while in Vietnam. Through a character, Point Man Palmer was his story of war. I think I learned a little bit more about some of the experiences that he had, the little intricate things that happened that he hadn't told me about. And the more she learned, the more she knew what she had to do. The story of an army captain. He was stationed in Saigon. Would be told through the adventures of Point Man Palmer in Vietnam. Writing is, is always work. And for two years, she worked on a book. In his drawings, Vernon tempered the realities of war with a shield, humor. The sense of humor to him was so important in his life. He said, one of the things I want to do most is to help people laugh. Woven into the humor of Point Man Palmer was also a reality. The names of four friends of Vernon remembered on a wall, celebrated by Point Man Palmer. I think you're right. He was celebrating their lives and that they were being recognized. I think he loved that. Forty years after the end of a war and nine years after his passing, Vernon Grant is still telling his story. And I still have not discovered everything that he's drawn. A story and images that can make you smile, but should also remind us about service and sacrifice. And if we don't talk about him now, how are we going to remember? In Wisconsin, Dells, this is Dave Delosier, WISC News 3. Wow, well, Betsy Grant says she's had Vietnam veterans look at the cartoons in the book, smile, and say, I remember that. That's a talented yeah. cartoonist, isn't he? Well, the adventures of Point Man Palmer in Vietnam, available on Amazon, can also be purchased in Madison at the Veterans Museum and the Wisconsin Historical Museum as well. I love that story. All right.